your heart and your watch, what seniors must know. There are new features coming to some smartwatches that will make these a must for seniors. In this video, we'll look at what these features are, what watches will be affected, and why it is so important that you as a senior watch this video. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, where we make videos to help seniors understand technology. Today, though, I'm going to take my YouTube creator's jacket off and put on my medical jacket. Yes, I'm going to draw on the 35 years of experience I've had looking after people as a family physician and working in emergency departments. So today I want to talk to you about some significant changes that are occurring to smartwatches that will make these invaluable for seniors. So you need to know what a very common heart condition is called atrial fibrillation. Now in this graph you're going to see, and this is from my very popular Saving Your Life with Wearable Technology. As you can see the, in this graph, that over the age of 60, the incidence of atrial fibrillation goes up exponentially. This is so important for you to understand. Let's have a look at actually what atrial fibrillation is. So in this diagram, you'll see that there are four chambers in a heart. There are the two upper chambers called the atrium. And there are the two big chambers at the bottom called ventricles. So the two chambers in the heart at the top, the atrium, contract down, putting blood into the bottom big chambers that pump the blood out. Now the right ventricle goes to the lung and the left ventricle, of course, is the big one that goes to the rest of the body. So that's how the blood flows through our heart. Now in atrial fibrillation, there's a problem. In other words, those two chambers in the top, those atrium, start to speed up. And oh my gosh, they go awful fast. They get going at a rapid rate so that they're just quivering. They're not actually contracting down. Now you're going to say, oh my gosh, that's terrible. You'd probably die. But that's not the case. Most people with atrial fibrillation can live very normal lives. In fact, the problem is they don't even know they have the condition. There's a stopgap between those top two chambers and the bottom chambers, so the bottom chambers just can keep contracting down. And it turns out that you don't need those top two chambers to push blood down into those bottom two chambers. So what happens is this is that atrial fibrillation occurs, and it occurs when you don't even notice you have any symptoms. That's the problem. So the top two chambers all of a sudden go very rapid. They, they are sort of fluttering, and they're, they're not actually contracting down. Now what this does is this causes clots in those, those big atrial chambers, and the blood clots then can move down into the ventricles. In the case of the left ventricle, goes up into the brain and causes strokes. And that's why atrial fibrillation is the third cause of stroke. So, and people don't know they have it. So this is why it's so important that as a senior, we understand what atrial fibrillation is and that there can be no symptoms of that, and you just end up with uh, a disease that you don't want. You don't want to have a stroke, right? So how can watches help with this? What advantages would there be in purchasing a smartwatch? Well, the three that I've talked about before and done a number of videos about are, of course, the Apple Watch, the Galaxy 4 Watch, and the Fitbit Sense. Now, why is this so important? Well, these three watches have a unique feature that they can do. Not only can they do what we call an ECG, but they can interpret the ECG and tell you if you have atrial fibrillation. These have all had scientific studies behind them and all are approved by the FDA in the United States. They're also approved in Canada, 
in many other countries around the world because they have the data to back up how they're doing this. So what happens is these watches can do an ECG. The ECG on the watch gets interpreted and it will tell you immediately when we do the ECG if you have atrial fibrillation or you don't. So that's pretty cool. It will certainly do that. And these watches work in conjunction with a cell phone. So these watches, of course, are paired with a cell phone. That This data is then stored in a PDF format on your smartphone. This, of course, can be shown to your healthcare provider. It can be emailed to your healthcare provider. Or, of course, it can be sent to your cardiologist. The studies have shown this is very accurate. Now, you must understand that an ECG done on your watch is not like the ECG we do in hospitals. In the hospital, when we do a 12-lead ECG, we can look at the past, present, and future of your heart. It gives us a lot of data. The ECG that we do on these smart watches only has one specific function, and that is to tell if you have or have not got atrial fibrillation. It doesn't tell you if you have a heart attack. It doesn't tell you if you need to go to the hospital. None of that is true. All of the ECG function does is it tells you if you have atrial fibrillation. So let's look at how this would work. Well, you would maybe get a fluttering in your chest, maybe you get a bit of shortness of breath. You start to feel a bit unwell. You then have to activate the ECG on your watch. So you, there are many different ways you go about that. You could push the crown, the face. There's a bunch of different ways these watches work, but essentially you have to activate your watch to do the ECG. So then the watch usually asks you to be quiet, sit in a, uh, uh, seated in a spot, and then you can actually, um, it will do the ECG for you. It then interprets it and says, hey, you either have atrial fibrillation or you don't have atrial fibrillation and that you should check with your healthcare provider regarding this. It then saves that and it saves it to your smartphone as a PDF uh, format. Now, the problem with this is, as I told you earlier, is that many patients don't know they have atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation doesn't always cause symptoms. So if you don't have any symptoms, how are you going to activate the watch to do an ECG? This does not continually monitor your heart and tell you if you have atrial fibrillation. Wouldn't that be great if you could wear your watch and it would continually monitor your heart and tell you if your heart ever went into atrial fibrillation. That would be a game changer. And folks, that is the game changer we're gonna talk about today. All right, this is great news. And the continuous monitoring of your heart rate has been approved for the Apple Watch in the United States and Canada. And it will occur later this fall with Watch OS 9. Now, the great feature of this is is it will work on the older watches. So you don't have to spend any more money. The watch, the Apple watch you have now, this will occur on it. It is just a software update. This is likely going to occur with the Fitbit series as well, as there is a big study that is just completing with the Fitbit line to confirm the same. The sophisticated sensors in the back of these watches on the, on the back surface monitor your heart. And with a software change, we can monitor them on a 24-hour basis. This is going to be a game changer, folks. You'll be able to wear your watch 24-7, and it's going to tell you uh, if you have had any history of atrial fibrillation. It's going to track your heart on a 24-7 basis. It's going to tell how long your heart was in atrial fibrillation. It's going to tell us the time the amount of time it was in atrial fibrillation and what time 
of day or week it was most active. This is valuable information for healthcare providers. When I was practicing medicine, this would have been a game changer for me. Because of course, what we want to do is know is if patients remain in atrial fibrillation after we've treated them for them. Some of the treatment for atrial fibrillation is to get you out of atrial fibrillation, whether it's through surgery or, or medication. We want you to be out of atrial fibrillation, or if you're going to stay in atrial fibrillation, you need to be anticoagulated. So we need to know what your heart is doing on a continuous basis. And this solves the problem, folks. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. At the American Heart Association in 2021, Google presented their Fitbit study to evaluate atrial fibrillation involving 450,000 people that took part. The algorithm Google used correctly identified atrial fibrillation in 98% of the time. Now, the exciting part about this uh, was that it was done using a wide variety of Fitbit devices, not just the Fitbit Sense. It is possible with the software change that most of the Fitbit line can now continuously monitor you for atrial fibrillation. And we know that around 12 million people in the United States this year will have atrial fibrillation. And this certainly is more prevalent with advancing age, hypertension, and obesity. So it is so important that we identify these folks so we can get treatment and, of course, prevent the complications such as stroke, congestive heart failure. So we expect to see this fall changes in the software to uh, Apple and Google software that will allow continuous monitoring for atrial fibrillation, which will be a big help in the medical management of this very serious condition. In summary, let's look at what we've learned today. The first thing is you now understand the word atrial fibrillation and should know what it is. The th second thing you learned today is that it's common and it's even more common after the age of 60 and 16 million patients in the United States will have a period of atrial fibrillation this year. And three is you now know that it is the third leading cause of stroke. The good news is, of course, we have the Apple Watch, the Fitbit Sense, and the Galaxy Watch 4 that have been approved by the FDA and in Canada for the evaluation of atrial fibrillation. And now on your watch, with the click of a button, you can now do an ECG, which is interpreted and will tell you if you have atrial fibrillation or not. But after today's seminar, you now know that a lot of people don't have symptoms with atrial fibrillation. But the good news is coming because Apple has now confirmed that with Apple Watch OS 9, will be able to continually track and monitor for atrial fibrillation on a 24-hour basis. And this will be available on most Apple Watches. You won't have to go and buy a new watch. You've also learned today that Google is following suit with this. And I expect a big announcement uh, since their F Fitbit study was done in 2021. I expect probably a big announcement with the in introduction of their new Google Watch this fall. This will have the new version of Android Wear on it and we'll likely see a continuous monitoring as Apple has done. The technology is there. I'm excited about this. I think this is going to be a big feature. Well, it's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior. Just before we sign off, I just want to remind everybody I did the statistics on our channel lately, and I find found that only 1 in 10 people are subscribed. If you want to keep updated on your health and get notifications when we make new videos, please click the notification and subscribe. We'll have many more videos about this continuous atrial fibrillation monitoring as it becomes available this fall. 
Until we see you again, have a great day.